what have I done to deserve the life that I have? I've been a strong tower for everyone else, but who has ever been there for me? I've lost my dad, my mom, my job, my marriage, and I'm about to lose my mind. Why does living have to be so hard? Am I talking to a God? Or am I talking to myself? Can you hear me? Are you even listening? Do you even exist? If you are real and you love us, why do you let us suffer so much? Oh, what's, oh, what's the, the use? use? I'm, I'm so, so tired, tired of living and dealing, dealing with this with pain and this and emptiness. emptiness. I just, I just want to go to sleep, sleep and never, and never wake, wake up. up. It's not, it's like, not anyone like anyone is going to miss me anyway. anyway. <laughs> Who is Who this is blowing, blowing up my phone? phone? Hello. May I please speak to Chris? No Chris lives here. You've got the wrong number. I must have written his number down wrong. Chris is my new prayer partner, and uh, this is the time we set aside to pray over the phone. Well, I'm sorry. You and Chris are going to miss your prayer time, but I'm actually in the middle of my own, so if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to it. Wait, wait. wait. Um, hold on a minute. Maybe it was no accident that we connected. And since you are already praying, and I called intending to have prayer with my friend, maybe we could pray together. To be honest... I'm pretty sure our prayers are on two different wavelengths, so I don't think so. Well, that probably applies to everyone. I mean, we're all in different stages of life, but we can still pray for each other. You know what I mean? That all sounds good, sir. But I really don't think you caught me at a good time. Maybe it's not a good time, but it could be the right time. I mean, come on. What do you have to lose? At this point in my life, not much. Look, I don't mean, look, I don't mean to pry into your business, but you sound pretty upset. And if I'm feeling your vibe right, you sound like you're having one of those I'm mad at you God prayers. If it's of any consolation to you, you're right. And it's not any of your business. So let's end this conversation. Hold on. Look, I, I know what it feels like. I've been there where you feel like God has just about abandoned you. And I'm sure most of us have, but the good news is you don't have to stay there. So what do you propose I do? Get on a magic carpet and fly away from all my troubles? N not exactly. But you just have to realize that God will never, ever leave you nor forsake you. That all things are working for good to shape you into a great piece of clay on the potter's wheel. Well, all that you're going to shall pass. God has a plan for us all, and we just have to trust our lives into his hands while being patient. Look, I'll make a deal with you. Before we end this call, just let me pray with you before we do, and I will gladly let you go. Like you said, you have nothing to lose. Fine. If it makes you feel better, go ahead. Father, I come before the throne of grace. First, thanking you. I thank you for this opportunity to be able to pray for this woman, a daughter of God, who may be battered, beaten, broken, burned out. And Father, I don't know where the pain started, but I do know where it ends, and it ends in your presence. Psalm 118 and 17, your word declares, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. I thank you, Father, for this moment of transformation. I thank you, Jesus, that she hears my voice, a servant's heart, crying out to you in this moment. I thank you that you are her healer, her way maker, her miracle worker. This pain is real. This anxiety, this stress, the overwhelm, the oppression, the depression, it's all a door, a corridor to suicide, Father. I pray that in this moment she would see the value of her life, God. I 
I pray that she will see that there is none like her on all of the earth, that she is an unrepeatable miracle. And Father, in Isaiah 53 and 5, your word declares that you were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon your shoulders. And by your stripes, we are healed. And so God, I thank you that in this very moment, she is healed by your stripes. According to the measure of her faith, God, let it be unto her, Father. Be her physician. Father, I thank you for the surgery that's taking place on her heart, supernaturally, even now. Father God, light her path and show her the way through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. I'm so glad you called the wrong number. You'll never know how much you saved my life. Well, I believe I actually called the right number at the right time and spoke to the right person. Be blessed, daughter of God, and never stop holding on to God's unchanging hand, even when the world around you does. You never told me your name. Hello? Hello? Are you still there? Hello?